right, guys. Sean's TV's back. Well, as you can tell, it's not a street no more. Well, that's that's a good thing, right? Yeah, not in the street no more. Well, this thing, unfortunately, I think it's down for a while. Uh, I was drove it home after work one day and drove it that night. And I pulled up and it sounded like it had a a rod knock, and I haven't really looked into it much. It could just be a flywheel issue, something very simple. I'm hoping that's what it is at least. Still runs, but she don't sound right. You know, she has a little clunky, clunk, clunk, clunk noise coming from that general area. Still sounds good out the pipe leaders, though. I know. V8. Blah, blah. Anyhow. But, the biggest thing is, I got this thing to finally run and drive. Because if you remember correctly, I know it's been a while, and forgive me, please, I've been super busy. But remember correctly, the last video, this Suburban was what that white car was. And it also had a flat. And I've told you, and I had to put a timing chain in it, and I was fighting carburation issues and a couple other things. But uh, I just want to come on here and show you. And don't mind the mess in her either. I mean, she's been sitting, you know, a good minute. I'm also fighting another issue, and I'll explain that here momentarily. But let's reach on down the hill. Papa lies on motor barn you know gotta love a little chevy emblem like that most of them get stolen well if you look i was tinkering on it earlier that's why there ain't no air cleaner if you're curious but uh if you look here there ain't no required junk on this nope yep deleted found out that was bad so i deleted on that and put on this fancy it'll break uh, I don't know and uh, finally I think I finally got the timing correct on it well I hope so and unfortunately with it sitting so long I had to go out and buy a battery not cheap but another issue I'm having Maybe someone on this magical YouTubes could help a guy out. Well, I keep blowing my running light fuse for the rear tail lamps and the, the uh, tag light. And I don't know necessarily how to find an issue. I thought it would be in the trailer wiring, but I guess it isn't. Well, it still might be. Who fucking knows, right? But I've been digging through all this wiring and the fuse box thing, the the thing that powers everything is up under there somewhere. Now, I can't find nothing wrong with that. I traced all these miscellaneous wires. I can't tell you what each one does off the top of my head. Can't find nothing wrong there. So I realized it was pop popping the fuse when I hit the brake pedal. So, you know, first thing a guy ought to do is just replace that brake pedal switch. Right? Wrong. Nope. That ain't the problem. So, what else could it be? I was thinking, hit that switch? Nah. Well, maybe. Who knows? Could be in that. But I'm still thinking because I took this truck off-road, you know, to three times and i still think there's something wrong with this trailer wire in back here maybe there's some moisture or something in it causing an issue grounding out something i checked all the wiring you know behind the tail lamps none of them look cut up or broken you know all those look great man put spare on her dang it it's okay But, the most impressive thing, though, overall, is this truck's, I don't know, it's been sitting here, oh, good, 
six, eight hours. It should be cold by now. I can't remember how long ago it was. Don't mind my big alarm in the way. But I just want to show you. You know, it's cold. Doesn't mean it's going to fire off first try. Nothing like that. I ain't trying to prove my truck can start faster than someone else's. I don't know why it matters. I don't even think I'm going to pump it. I think I'm just going to turn the key. Boom. Flick right off. to me start super easy it's idling a little a little you know that direction up a little high still got a you know twist on that little screw you know just a tickle yeah she's currently idling Right about, oh, I want to say it's probably close to 900. Now I think that's a little high. I think we can bring that down to 850. Maybe a 750, if lucky. Who knows? But you gotta love them old silver ratters, you know. These old square boys, they'll run on a burnt up wiring harness, a screwed up carburetor, and who knows what else. They'll still be more reliable than stuff that has electronics in them. You can't kill an old Chevrolet. This is living proof. Took a little time, took a lot of my patience, and a lot of learning curves. But I finally, finally got her running and driving i just can't drive her at night yet used to be able to but now i don't know what happened while i was sitting something happened can't believe it but I guess I got to I'm looking right at it I mean but here soon I'm hoping to get the lift on it uh, I'm trying to wait and buy some bigger tires these are only 31s I'd like to go up to at least some 33s you know so I don't have a big old gap man need a little bit but not a lot and then i gotta go get this tire that's in front of the ford fixed i don't know why but it went it went flat i didn't see a nail or nothing in it myself but who knows i i'm not a tire expert by no means let's see what i mean there's air cleaner right there i told you I'll just add here a little bit of cool. So don't freak out on me now. So, but anyhow, I just want to show y'all a little bit of an update. Uh, I know there was some quiet moments in that, and I apologize. I just didn't know what else to say at the time. But thank y'all for watching. Uh, please hit that like, comment, subscribe. Uh, there'll be a future update videos on this truck and that truck. I'm hoping... I'm hoping my next video, which will be, I'm going to say, no more than a month away, both of these will be running. 
I can't guarantee a date, but I can tell you it'll be probably less than a month for my next video. Now, I would like to take you all along the process fixing that one. So there might be videos sooner than that. But who knows? It might take two, three, six, twelve videos for this one. Who knows? Because I don't know if I need to go through a motor or just check my flywheel. I'm hoping it's flywheel. But I'll keep y'all updated, I promise. But please hit that like and comment, subscribe like I already said, and I'll talk to you in the next one. All right, guys, y'all have a great one.